Located just north of downtown Omaha, the near north side has always been a working class neighborhood. One ethnic group after another came and left in the search of a piece of the American dream. In the 1880s, North Omaha became home to the Irish, Scandinavians, and Germans who found work in this rapidly expanding section of the city. By the early 1900s, the Italians live here, as did Jews from Eastern Europe. Jews opened up businesses along North 24th and remained in the neighborhood for many years. By 1910, black families began arriving on North 24th Street, pursuing their dreams. Most were coming from southern states. In the south, the cotton industry was failing. The boll weevil and a series of droughts ravaged crops. Rural families found it difficult to make ends meet. Segregation, lack of jobs, and discontentment caused many to look elsewhere for a better life. With World War I raging in Europe, millions of American men went off to fight, and they left behind their jobs. Northern industries scrambled to fill those jobs and looked south for available manpower. In response to this call, a great mass of black families made the journey north in search of a better life. Omaha, like most northern communities, became the promised land for those seeking jobs and prosperity. Determined and optimistic they came. A flood of relatives and friends followed in their wake. Or, as in the case of Pilgrim Baptist Church, where much of one congregation from a small town in Alabama up and moved north. Between 1910 and 1920, the African-American population in Omaha had more than doubled. They came here for jobs, better opportunities, job opportunities. The packing house was a big lure for people because it was a job, and it was a good paying job, even at uh, 40 cents an hour, whatever they were making in those, back in those times was, was much, much better than, than what you were making wherever they came from. Paul Allen's family was just one of many that migrated to Omaha. The year was 1922. My father was a minister, and he went to college at Hot Springs, Arkansas, a theological seminary. And he was ordained as a Methodist. And his cousin moved to Omaha, Nebraska earlier. Then he sent back for my father to come out and run a rev revival. And uh, he was articulate and, and a good speaker, and he knew the Bible. and. and and he was tall at that time, it was real tall and I am, and he went over real big, so he, he thought he would move here. I said, well, I, I like Omaha. My mother came and looked it over, and so we moved to Omaha.